Hi, I'm Scott Bourne. Welcome to PhotoFocus.com. Today we have a special treat for you. I'm with Michael Tapes, the inventor of the Lens Align. Thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure, Scott. The Lens Align is a tool that every one of you probably needs to think about trying, and here's why. I get questions all the time, Michael, from our audience during our Q&A podcast about why aren't my pictures as sharp as yours? Mm -hmm. And it, it boils down to something that you just taught me that um, I want you to share about the camera lens and the camera body having never met each other. Exactly. <laughs> the, uh, the camera, as good and expensive and wonderful as these cameras are, and lenses, uh, the lens is produced independently, the camera is produced independently, and we buy them independently. Even if you're buying them in a kit, they weren't tested together, and that's the key. At no time was this lens and this camera calibrated to work together. So there are manufacturing tolerances, and if they line up wrong, then the autofocus system can't perform right. It never had its final calibration. So this is why many of you will write in and say, my camera's back focusing. My camera doesn't seem to be exactly sharp. It's because these tolerances are pretty wide from the factory. And what we want to do is we want to bring them down to where they're a lot closer to the perfect spec. And up until Michael invented this tool, I don't believe there was an easy way to do it unless you're a science geek. But with the lens aligned, it's a very simple system. Uh, you have a target. You photograph the target. Then, Michael, you've written some incredible software, which I think is the real touchstone to how this becomes valuable. You take these images and you put them into the software. Could you explain that process? Because I think sure. that's where this is really exciting. Sure. Basically, what we're trying to do is you have the depth of field and uh, you're shooting, and that depth of field should be centered around where you're shooting. If, if we focus on Scott's eye, face front, please. We want the depth of field to be like this and the eye to be in focus. But what happens with the cameras is if you're back focusing, the focus ends up back here. If you're front focusing, it ends up back here. It varies from lens body combinations. So the camera manufacturers have recently added in a feature called autofocus fine tune or autofocus micro adjustment. And that lets you put in a little setting to calibrate this out so that with a certain camera lens, it knows, ah, this camera lens back focuses, so we, the camera automatically puts the focus where it's supposed to be. So our software, we take a series of images with those different settings, we give the software those images, the software analyzes it and says for this camera and lens combination, minus four would be the best setting. Now, you may be thinking, but I've got a really expensive camera and really expensive lens. Do I really need this? Yes, you do, and here's why. Right before we went to tape this episode, I had my $7,000 Canon 400 F4 IS2 DO lens tested on my $5,000 Canon 1DX body, and Michael, we found out that it back focuses 0.3. Right, it needs a minus three to compensate for how those manufacturing tolerances uh, went up. Now, that's not huge, but the issue is if you take uh, 100 shots, you know, you're going to find out that of, I don't know, I'll just pick a number, 15 of them are soft. Well, maybe now Scott's going to find out that only seven of them are soft. It, yeah. It's not that, that, you know, obviously Scott's been taking sharp photographs, but it's the yield rate will be higher for the times because each autofocus picture gets uh, taken at a little different spot. So you want to make sure that you're getting the best yield from the autofocus system. And this process needs to be done to each camera body and each lens. And once that's complete, the way that you've explained this to me, Michael, is that this is then stored in the camera body. Absolutely. And the camera body says, oh, that's that 400 DO lens that we just worked on. I'm going to set it back 0.3 because I know that's where this one needs to be. Exactly. And oh, there's the 7200. It's got to be whatever it is. That is the most important part. If you're diligent in terms of doing these tests and you use this system, here's what I personally believe. I believe you'll get more sharp pictures. And that's what we're all after. And yes, you know, I do bird photography, which means I might shoot 500 to get five saleable images. If I get a sixth or seventh saleable image because of this, it's certainly worth the minimal investment in time to do this up front. And let me, let me add one additional thing, Scott. 
uh, while in general the equipment is okay, there are some lens body combinations that are soft no matter what you do. And people say, oh, well, that's a crummy lens. You know how you know you own a lens and you say it's great and somebody else owns a lens and says it's bad? Yeah. Or they say I got a bad copy. Hear it's, that all the time. It's not a bad copy. It just hasn't been calibrated. So you buy another one. It may be a worse copy but work better on your camera because the, the, the right. you know, calibrate. So the point is you never know. So the thing to do is there's nothing wrong with your equipment when it needs an adjustment. It's the final calibration that the manufacturer never did. I want to say that this looks intimidating to some of you. Uh, it's not because I just watched the man himself do it on my camera body and my lens and it really is very simple if you follow instructions. You do need to follow the instructions. We're going to direct you once again to Michael's incredible videos on YouTube. End of the day, Michael, what's the most important thing you'd like to say about the Lens Align system to our audience? You'll read online that there are, you don't need the Lens Align system. I line up batteries, or I do it on the grass, or I do a fence. But all that's true, except you better line up the batteries right. You better shoot <laughs> parallel to the fence. This gets rid of all the variables and is repeatable. All those other ways can do it, but it's a process that takes some amount of time, so you want to do it right every time, and that's what we have assured in here. We've got patents on this, been doing this for six years, fourth generation of lens align, fourth generation of software. It's a software-hardware combination that works, and the key to it also is that unlike photographing a target on the wall, we're taking a three-dimensional picture. The, the ruler is in Z space, if you will, so the software analyzes things in, th in three dimensions. Sharpness, front focus, back focus, and that's really the key, and the software does all the analysis for you. So here's what I'll just say. Michael's on the show because I believe in this, and I want to point out that He's not a sponsor. He's not paying for this. This is something that we're bringing to you because we believe in it. I just used it. I'm now a fan. So tell you what, take your preconceived notions about this, check them out the window, investigate this a little bit more in depth. And if you have questions, Michael, how can they reach you? Uh, my company is Michael Tapes Design, but you are looking at the entire company right now. <laughs> I am it. So when you uh, go to the little help button on our website, uh, the support ticket you write will be answered by me, generally the same or next day, and you can ask any questions you want. So basically, I'm at your side through the whole process. It's a really brilliant system, and we appreciate your attention. I really hope that you all look into this. Uh, now, we got to go, because I'm going to have him do a couple more of my lenses. And let's uh, hop over to Viera Wetlands and take some pictures. All right. It all makes sense. Thanks Thank for uh, watching. This is PhotoFocus.com. I'm Scott Bourne with Michael Tapes. Thanks a lot, Scott.